Great back, please, everybody. <laughs> And one more standing front. You know, basketball is part of my life, and it's the craft that I've poured my heart and soul into. Um, but sports and life are synonymous with the lessons that it teaches you, um, you know, the confidence that it builds. And I think that's something that we can carry and hopefully inspire for athletes and non athletes to, to find their full potential. Uh, have belief in themselves, you know, be a part of something greater than themselves as well. Kind of cements home, yes. I'm very surprised where I'm at, but it's not surprising knowing all the work that I've put in and the, and the way that I've tried to approach it. It sounds so cliche, but it's literally just, uh, you know, living every day, just trying to get better, just a little bit, and appreciate and having a sense of gratitude of uh, not just the experience that you have, but the people that you get to have it with, and the fact that I have so many. Uh, of my old teammates, coaches, uh, you'll see in, in the film, uh, people that are part of the Davidson community, the community where in Charlotte where I grew up, and even now to the Bay Area and be playing for the Warriors for 14 years. There's so many people that have been a part of this and to hear the story from their vantage point as well, not just mine, and the, the ability to you know, share that with, with the world that may not know a lot about you know, the origin story of where I, where I came from um, at Davidson and and the things that I learned to, to help me get to where I am today. So uh, excited to share it. In the back, please. Even though we were part of the interviews and things of really getting it together and the, and the uh, content of it until you actually hear what they're doing bringing it together you see a little clips of it um, you don't really get to understand the magnitude of this so I'm really excited myself tonight to just see it all pull together and uh, for the world to be able to see just his message people expected you to look a certain way and to do certain things and he's created his own way um, he's persevered he's committed to uh, being intentional about where he wanted to be with his life and what he wanted to do with basketball and then off the court same thing just as a, as a father um, as a husband and and so I'm, I'm just excited and I'm just blessed to just know that my son's going to be able to have an impact like he's going to have with this movie I've known him since he was 16 years old, and now he's turning 35 in, a, in two months. So I've seen him grow. Uh, I've seen him mature as a father, uh, as a leader, um, as someone that a lot of people look up to, and it's a truly remarkable experience. He's someone that always strives to get better. Uh, and one thing that's great about him is that he's the most selfless human being I've ever been around. He puts other people first, and I think that just elevates to who he is as a human being. I think it's more than just a sports story, to be honest. Um, it's about his life, his devotion to the family, um, his teammates, his upbringing. I think people can really see who Stefan is as an individual and not just a basketball player. Guys, right here in the middle, if you don't mind, stay in the yeah, one more right for him. And in the back for me in the back, right here. Thank you. And one more thing for right here. Here. Here on the left side again. There we go. Coach Stefan. Stefan has had a journey of joy. And I've had the great fortune of accompanying him on part of that journey. And uh, to see it come to this kind of destination is an extraordinary experience for me, and I'm very excited about it. Uh, he lives his life with great joy. He is what he is. He's so genuine. And I must say, his parents did a remarkable job of raising him, of teaching him values, of instilling in him all the qualities that he demonstrates not just on a basketball court, but in life. I rated him pretty highly, actually, thinking that he was going to be a very good player for us. So he is never and never will be underrated in my judgment.
People know Stefan's greatness today, but they don't fully understand the doubt and the barriers that he faced as a young, um, you know, high school, skinny high school athlete who had all the advantages in the world, a, a father who played for the NBA, yet was almost completely and universally overlooked because he was just small. It, it's a bit of a sports movie. It's got thrilling sports sequences in it, but it's so much more than that. There's this universal uh, theme of being overlooked, P places where we've been in our life where we, we, we didn't feel seen or, or heard. That's something that we all have experienced at one point or another in our lives. And this, this notion of family, the importance of family and community, is, is such a universal um, idea that we knew that that would transcend the sports format of, of the film. What was surprising about him was, you know, his, uh, this untold story of his relationship to this college, to his friends on that team that were family to him, to his coach who was a profound mentor for him, and his parents. We spend time with him, his family, his kids, Aisha. Um, we talk to Del and Sonia, we meet Grandma Candy, we meet his cousins, and you really start to get a sense of where this guy came from and, and that, that environment, how it shaped him and, and how it allowed him to have that self-confidence to push through all those doubts and all the doubters who sort of didn't see him when, when he was at that moment where he could have gone this way or that way. Screening underrated at, at Sundance is um, it's a humbling experience, it's exciting, it's moving, it's emotional to, for me as a storyteller to be able to share a film collectively with an audience, to have people waiting outside for your film, excited to see it. It's what you work for. Thank you. One for me, one for me. <laughs> a couple of obstacles in order to get there. Like what? Underrated is about, uh, you know, one of the most famous athletes on the planet. Somebody who, who really transcended the sport that he, that he plays, the game of basketball, and, and um, in many ways has, has changed it. Uh, but it's about the, the, the little known stories that, that led to his, to his rise and, and how he had to overcome a lot of obstacles in order to get there. You know, for Steph, his expectations were, 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 were very low in terms of the outside looking in, but the expectations that he had for himself internally were, were so outsized, you know, and watching that conflict as, as, it, as it comes up. And, and basketball is a game where, um, you know, uh, it selects for height, it selects for size, you know, and for him to be an undersized guy who, who had the impact on the, on the college level and then later on on the pro level that he had was really unexpected, you know, and watching what he, what he goes through. I think it's bigger than a sports film, honestly. Uh, it's really inspiring. I think people, people will get a lot out of it, no matter, no matter what their interest in, in the sport is. For the film to premiere here at Sundance, specifically here at the Echoes Theater, it means a lot. Like uh, our filmmaker, Pete Nix, great friend of mine, phenomenal documentarian. Um, he's been at the festival a few times, won, won the directing prize for nonfiction a few years back. But this is his first time f to play a film in Echoes, you know. Uh, so I'm really excited about that, happy I get to be here with him for that. Um, and I know it's Steph's first time being at the festival as well. So, so you know, I think that's the biggest thing that I'm excited about. In the back for me, man, right here. Well, most of the story takes place in the past, and so you know he wasn't recruited by any major uh, Division One basketball colleges. And uh, Davidson College, the coach there, saw something in Stefan that he liked, and it's a mid-major school, and um, so he was underrated. I mean, he was not getting recruited by Duke or Kansas, and this is this kind of a, I mean, for lack of a better term, sort of a no-name college school at the time. And uh, and the coach McKillop saw something in him, and and they went to the Elite Eight of the NCAA tournament in 2008. I mean, I, I was a Steph Curry fan to begin with, um, and I knew something about his story, but what was exciting to me was to find out the details that I didn't know about. Basketball fans knew that Davidson had their run, but as we got into the process, there were details about his time at Davidson that were exciting, and it felt like th there's an incredible story here that really hasn't been told. There's a, I think what I felt was a deep connection between the past and the present, and how he made his way to being a star, and how he sort of carries that with him today. Part of what's amazing about his story too is it's the it's you know a lot of movies are the rise and fall of somebody but this is the rise and rise of somebody so you know it's like and here he is he's still doing it. We all start from somewhere and 
We, we learn things along the way. We do things with amazing people that bring the best out of us, support us when you know, you know, things are rough and tough. And it, it's, it's amazing to know that that story can inspire people to, to keep on keeping on, to surround yourself with amazing people, to uh, push through the doubts, push through the, the criticism, push through the, the times when people kind of count you out. Um, and I feel like you know, to see it up there on, on the screen, it, uh, it gave me even more juice and motivation on you know, what the future holds, but a sense of gratitude and appreciation on um, nothing was by accident. It's all designed by God. And the fact that you know, we're up here on the stage to, uh, to share that story with everyone um, makes it even more, more special. So definitely a, uh, an amazing night all the way around. And I thank y'all for uh, adding to that. <laughs>